Welcome back to the Barley Lads. Today, we're drinking Glen Murray 12. This is Glen Murray Heritage 12 year old. This is a Speyside single malt scotch from the Glen Murray Distillery in Elgin, Scotland, UK. 40% or 80 proof with a 12 year age statement. Price wise, you should be able to get this between 30 and $40, and it's 100% malted barley. So, this is Glen Murray 12. This was uh, released in 2016, so this is one of their newer releases, but the company itself has been around since 1897, and it, 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 the distillery itself was before uh, a brewery. Uh, it was called the Elgin West Brewery, and it opened in 1830. They changed it over to a distillery in 1897. Shortly after that, they were purchased by the same company that owns Aberlour, and after a distillery fire at Glen Murray, all of their distillation, barreling, bottling, all that shifted over to Aberlour and the distillery itself went into uh, a deeper state of disrepair. So uh, they did reopen in 1923 with new production and has been open since then. In fact, they added two new stills in the 1950s to double their um, distillation uh, abilities and they have been releasing newer bottlings like this in more recent years with updated labels uh, I want to say they have a 15 year and 18 year as well and um, but they've kind of gotten away from their their older labels this is all bourbon cask and they use first second and third fill uh, barrels and so with that with those second and third fill you're getting less and less of the wood and bourbon influence and really you're just get letting it um, age in the that Scottish air that Scottish weather uh, but I believe it's 40% first fill so you're still getting a substantial amount but it tends to be a more mellow whiskey because of that so on the nose you're getting some lemon and orange, almost like a zest. <clears throat> Honey and vanilla. A little bit of grassy notes. But you, this is what you you tend to, to, to get from a, a space side. Um, overly sweet. And because it's not sherry cast like an Avalor, like other uh, whiskeys, Glen Morangy, um, their older bottlings, you're not getting heavy dark fruit notes. It's very light. Goes down very smooth, 80 proof. Um, Again, though, on the taste, you get the, the fruity maltiness, a, a hint of spice, but, but it fades fairly quickly. You get some orchard fruits like apple or pear on the finish. It's still sitting on my tongue a little bit, but it's, it's not very pronounced. So I'm not, I w I'll still say it probably has a short finish and maybe a hint of oak from that from you know it still is 12 years so it's still been in, in a barrel for quite a long time this is a good whiskey you can get it for a fairly reasonable price especially for the age the 12 year age statement but it's really not going to knock your socks off by any means so thank you again for watching another episode of the barley lads today we've been drinking glenbrae 12. don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell cheers